Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you are watching Voodoo.de VR. Today I will compare two Oculus Link cable systems, one with uh, um, from cable creation that I already showed some month ago and now the official Oculus Quest Link cable. So we will see if is there a difference, is it worth to pay for the high price official cable or can you just use this one. That's very interesting. You can find everything about VR and AR on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgirls VR, Opperman Events, Nursing Skills, Andy de Felser, VR Ambassador and Alpha Blend Interactive. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay guys, before I give you my opinion about the original Oculus Link cable, I will show you two comparisons that I filmed through the lens um, with the Oculus Link. So, it's of course it's very hard to, to do some measuring, objective measuring. It's nearly impossible with filming through the lens from the exact uh, um, angle with, with two different um, scenes and stuff. It's very difficult, but I tried to film the exact scene from Stormland and from Beat Saber and Expert Plus. So I hope you can, you can see something there. However, after this comparison, we will talk about my opinion of the Oculus Link headset cable, the official one. So let's check this out. Okay guys, I hope this was a little bit helpful. I, I have no idea if you can do something with, with, with this comparison. However, now my opinion about this Oculus Link cable, the official one. So, I'm not a friend of this cable. <laughs> so I had 48 hours contact with the Oculus support because this cable did not work from the beginning. There are, I'm not the only one with this problem, just Google it. So what did I do? I connected the USB-C to my graphics card. I have the 2080 Ti or my mainboard. I tried both USB-C slots. Then I updated, of course, my Oculus software and the Quest to version 14. And um, then I connected the other side to my Oculus Quest. And what happened? Windows told me the last USB device you connected could not be found. And then in the device manager, I had this uh, yellow mark that something is wrong. So I had no idea. So I told the Oculus support, there is something wrong with this cable. They told install the new driver for the USB, update everything, then go out of the public test channel, go in or whatever. I tried all of this stuff. I even updated my BIOS from the main board. I have the ASUS Maximus Extreme 11 or whatever. Maximum 11 Extreme. <laughs> um, and then I started Windows again, nothing. It didn't work. So, and then the Oculus support didn't really know what to do. And then <laughs> it's so strange because I had no idea what to do. Then I just connected the cable to the Quest, removed it, connected, removed, connected. I think I did this seven times. Why ever? And then it worked. Holy moly, why? <laughs> It just worked after seven time connect and disconnect. Now it works, but it's crazy. 
a lot of people have this problem with the cable. So this is not my friend, this cable. <laughs> and after this, when you compare it to some third party cable, I do not see a difference personally. There are people that see a difference, but me, I do not see a difference. So, um, so this cable is 80 bucks. I, in Germany, where I live, it's not available now. I think in United States and somewhere else, it's available for 80 bucks. And then I have a combination about three different third party cable adapters that worked much better than this one. Um, I mean, they now they work both, but the configuration about this cable was crazy. And the other cable that I will show you now, uh, the first one is the Cable Creation USB 3.0 5 meter. Uh, this is the German page. I will put the United States link under this video. Um, this is a five meter cable. Then you have this, this box here and then we have an adapter, the Anchor Powerline 2-pack, 1.8 meters from USB-C to uh, USB-3. Um, and this is here, this cable and then the adapter. So the original cable goes like down and this, thing, this adapter goes backwards, what I really love more. So um, you have the combination about these three things here and it's nearly seven meters so it's longer than the original cable and it works the same yeah and then i tried another cable uh, this is not available anymore now uh, this is not a, the price that i paid i paid like a uh, 48 pounds i think these are 54 55 euros or what and it's the orange one and it didn't work this cable didn't work but the combination of these three cables is perfect, it's best for me because it has this, this cool adapter here and um, it's, for me it's better than the original cable. I don't see any difference with artifacts or stuttering or something like that. Perhaps there are people that see that but me not. So guys, now the all in all price for these three things is 40 euro. It's half of the price of the original cable, but I know there are people outside that even have a longer cable, cable that is even cheaper and it works the same. So if you have found a cable that works with Oculus Link and it's cheaper and longer and better, post it in the description below so, or in the comments below so everybody can use it and have fun with it. That would be awesome. So, and now, finally, um, I want to tell you what, because so many people ask me, what is the difference between playing a game on the Oculus Quest or Oculus Link? So, I will tell you uh, an example of the game Moss. This is a jump and run game that is available on the Oculus Quest and also on the PC. So when you, when you install it on the Oculus Quest as a standalone headset, that means you don't need a PC, you don't need a console, um, just install it on the Oculus Quest. Then you play the Oculus Quest version of MOSS. That means it has lower textures, lower graphics, it doesn't look as good as the PC version. But you can play it standalone and without cable. Then the second possibility is via Oculus Link cable. That means you connect the cable to your PC and the Oculus Quest and then you don't install MOS on the Quest but on your PC via the Oculus software on Windows. So you don't play the Quest version then, you play the PC version and this looks much better of course. But then the stuff is not processed by the Quest, but by your PC. That means you need a relative powerful gaming PC, but then it looks better, of course. So with the Oculus Link, you have the possibility to play it um, when you are traveling or with a cable when you are at home with your PC, what looks much better. That's cool. 
You can also play Steam VR games with that. It's not a problem. I hope this was helpful, guys. If yes, give me a thumbs up. And if you like to support me in any way, that would be awesome. <laughs> Go under my video. There are some possibilities to support me. Thank you for watching and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo